This is Dean with Westlake Pro, and today we're going to be taking a look at Woodwind Solo, part of the Symphony series by Native Instruments. This is a very cool instrument with a lot of functionality that allows you to play any of these instruments, bassoon, clarinet, contrabassoon, flute, oboe, saxophone, as a solo instrument, one sample. And the interface is very similar to Woodwind Ensemble, which makes it a very nice interface if you're going from one to the other, if you want to just add a solo flute onto your uh, already programmed orchestral session, it's a great way to add that on. So let's take a look. In this video, we're doing the controls. We're looking at all the controls, how it works, uh, all of the ins and outs of it. So let's start with, we just load up. We're going to start with Woodwind Quintet, and we're just going to go ahead and play a note. And in this ensemble tab, you can see that we've got the contrabassoon, bassoon, clarinet, oboe, and flute loaded up. This is very similar to the woodwind ensemble. What we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and load up just a clarinet. Now, if you wanted to, you could load in uh, the individual articulations, such as expression, legato, staccato, sustain, or you can load in the just clarinet instrument and this will allow you to use key switching to switch those articulations. So that's what it sounds like just by itself. Now we've got this big dynamics knob. This knob is used to ultimately change the dynamics. So you can hear as I turn that knob from left to right, we go from soft piano to loud forte. It changes more than just the volume though. It actually changes the intensity with which it's played and it does so in a very smooth way so that you can really get these nice uh, dynamics in your production. Now you don't have to do it with clicking on the knob. You can actually use the mod wheel as it's already set up to uh, control that right there. Very nice feature. Now we've also got the attack release, tightness, and vibrato. So you can control each of those to get a nice natural sound for whatever you're working on. If you want to have no vibrato, you can do that. Or if you want to have just a little bit or very fast vibrato, you can work with that. Now down here in this next section, we've got our articulation. So we've got our, uh, if we want to do a sustain or if we want to do um, trills, staccato, double tonguing. crescendo. We've got a lot of nice controls here. So those articulations change what the rest of the screen looks like. So when we have sustain, we can choose to have legato. So we get that nice legato sound between notes. You can even set it to a duet. so that you can have two legatos going at once. And we've also got the arpeggio feature here. And you can just play one note, set what type of chord you want it to use, let's say augmented. You can say if you want to just go up, down, up and down. 
We can also set uh, if we want to just run on for as long as we are holding the note down or if we want to have it happen a set number of times, two times, four times, eight times, whatever that might be. We can also set the speed. So if we want eighth notes, we've got that option. Now let's move into the mixer window. So in the mixer window, this is my favorite part of this instrument and this entire series is that we have a lot of microphones to choose from so that we don't have to just use the standard stereo sound. We can go ahead and, and choose to use the close microphones. And we get that nice dry tight sound. We can use the mid microphones. There's a bit more space in there. Or the far microphones. If we want that very uh, distant sound, almost as if we're sitting in the back of a concert hall listening to this uh, clarinet play. And we can combine those as well if we want to get a unique sound. We can do that. And below we've got a little bit more of the technical mixing controls. We've got an EQ, reverb, compressor, and filter. So this allows us to really work with, uh, you know, if we want to really sculpt the sound, change the EQ, maybe carve out a little bit of the low end, we can do that. So you can tell you have a lot of control here. The reverbs are very similar to the other reverbs in Native Instruments stuff. We've got uh, cathedral, chamber, rooms, halls, um, you know, a lot of different options here, which makes it really nice. Very flexible. You get a lot of different sounds out of it. And the compressor and the filter. Very nice if you're just wanting to add a little bit of squeeze to it or if you're wanting to roll off the top. So that is Woodwind Solo Controls, part of the Symphony Series by Native Instruments. A very cool, uh, very versatile instrument that allows you to really dive in. Now if you want to hear more about this instrument, if you want to listen to some of the soloed out instruments that are used, uh, please go ahead and check out our demo video for Woodwind Solo, and you'll be able to hear them in an actual session. Be sure to subscribe to the Westlake Pro YouTube channel for videos like this, more product demos, news, um, anything you can think of relating to pro audio. Check out the YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.